Uh, yeah, the funds. Um, first of all, I'd like to uh, certainly thank uh, Prudential Manor Homes for taking on this important cause and uh, supporting one of your very own, Leon. You know, Stroke's been around for a long, long time. I know that because I wikipedia did it, and it told me that uh, Hippocrates was really the first to write about stroke. So that is something like 400, 450 BC that stroke's been around. Fast forward to 1996. 1996 was when the first treatment was approved by the FDA with which to treat a stroke. So in many ways, stroke, the treatment of stroke, the science of stroke, the recovery and rehab from stroke, is really in its infancy, which is why it's so exciting for us at National Stroke Association that you're getting, getting in the game now. Stroke is in its infancy, and you have a tremendous opportunity to make a huge difference. I mean, you heard the stats that, that Leon said earlier, thanks for stealing some of my thunder, but um, the fact of the matter is, is in addition to those stats, there's seven million stroke survivors in this country. And for years and years, I'm, I'm just curious, how many of you know someone that's, that's been touched by stroke, not counting Leon? Yeah, look around the room. It's a lot. And how many of you have seen the, the journey of recovery that so many of these stroke survivors have faced? You know, uh, Leon's fortunate. In fact, he's exceptional. He's back at work. Not all stroke survivors can say that. So um, we're here to make a difference for those seven million people today. We're here to restore the dignity that they so desperately are, are looking to achieve. They're looking to rewind the clock back to before the event happened. Again, this is a great opportunity that all of us have to make a significant difference in our fight and battle against stroke. Uh, one last thing, because I know you have an action-packed day here. Um, when I first met Leon, it was on the phone. And as you can imagine, I've spoken to hundreds of stroke survivors. <coughs> and the one thing that so impressed me about Leon was um, he was describing his recovery from stroke. And he said, well, you know, Jim, um, I have good days. And I was kind of thinking to myself, yeah, I've heard this before, good days, bad days. Um, but Leon said, you know, I, I have good days and I have great days. And I thought, wow. I mean, for someone who almost died, almost was in a position to be permanently disabled, to stand up and say, I have good days and I have great days. Let me leave you with this. I hope today is a great day for you. I, I, I met your, your keynote speaker here, and um, I've already adjusted my schedule to make certain I can stick around for a little bit. But um, here's to having a great day. Here's to having a great opportunity to make a difference in stroke. Thank you so much.